broadcasting from Jakarta to Hi guys, welcome to the Star Wars Family Channel and this is going to be a road tour. <laughs> a road update. <laughs> road update because as you know, Cavite is now under MECQ. So living in Tagaytay, we will let you know, especially for um, those who plan to go to Tagaytay, we will show you any road updates if there are any checkpoints um, from Tagaytay to Silang and um, hopefully Santa Rosa. But we'll see where we are going today. But um, for now, we are here in Tagaytay, Calamba Road. Yeah, and this is Friday, August 6th. Giving you a quick tour of the area, what everything is looking like during the newest lockdown and Let's restrictions. See. Let's see if we can see Taal from here. We are not updating you about Taal today, but um, just about the new MECQ. Okay, so for those who plan to go to Tagaytay, um, this may be, we hope this will be useful for you. Um, I'm going to discuss the MECQ guidelines of Tagaytay per Councilor Athena Tolentino. So, minimum public health standards shall be complied at all times during MECQ. So, um, previously, dapat po GCQ lang yung Cavite, but it was declared that as of today, August 6. Cavite will be MECQ and as you know Tagaytay always has stricter restrictions so ganun pa din 18 years old person below 18 years old and above 65 shall remain in their residences at all times tapos meron na rin tayong liquor ban during MECQ we have curfew hours 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Also, these are the things that are allowed. Movement of cargo and delivery vehicles, um, vehicles used by public utility companies, shuttle services of permitted establishments, individual outdoor exercises within the area of residences. So, yung mga nasa subdivision, um, pwede kayong mag-walking. Walking, walking. Okay, so allowed with limited capacity yung mga hotels or accommodations with valid DOT accreditation for legitimate purposes. Indoor dine-in may be allowed. Ang maximum capacity ngayong MECQ is 10%. And then alfresco dining shall be allowed to a maximum of 50%. Weddings, baptisms, and similar ceremonies may have attendees of maximum of 10 persons. Yeah, so tipid tipid kayo guys. <laughs> you don't have to spend so much because it's only maximum of 10. But that is not as fun. Um, rel religious gatherings shall be allowed at 10% capacity. So if you plan to visit um, Pink Sisters or Lourdes, yung mga sikat na simbahan sa Tagaytay, we are only allowed at 10% capacity. Not allowed. No karaoke. Bars, clubs, concert halls, internet cafes, billiard halls, um, museums are not allowed. Indoor tourist attraction and outdoor tourist attraction. So, I believe People's Park and um, Picnic Grove is closed again ayan there you go guys that's our update we will be back um, as we take you yeah, if we come across any of the checkpoints or anything noteworthy um, that you should know about <laughs> we will let you know for sure we will be back okay so coming from Tagaytay going to Santa Rosa we are now here in Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road this is um, by Ming's Garden. This is usually kung nasaan yung checkpoint. This is um, where the checkpoints are stationed crossing from Tagaytay to Silang. So as of the moment, as you can see, 
no checkpoints here going to Tagaytay and going out of Tagaytay Ayan. so yeah technically we are under the same restrictions that we were before when we had checkpoints mm -hmm. so I'm not sure why there's no checkpoints especially when they try to ensure that people don't go from one area to the other unless they have proper pass or proper uh, essential worker passes etc so yeah. yeah sorry for the shaking guys but um, yeah so that's the status um, for the Tagaytay Silang Crossing here in Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road we will be back and show you the um, crossing from are we gonna pass that we're going by Calax right yeah well if any yeah. other checkpoints come up we'll certainly yeah, we let will you know. show you um, or if we make it to Calax unobstructed we'll let you know that as well yep we will be back okay so this is also a spot right there na lampasan namin sa left side where a checkpoint is going to Silang from Santa Rosa naman so as of today, August 6, there's still no checkpoint from Santa Rosa to um, Silang. Ayan. But right there, as you can see, ayan, may checkpoint na papasok ng Santa Rosa from Silang. Ayan. So we're going through Calax. We're gonna show you how the traffic is crossing over to Eslex mamaya. Um, because we saw some pictures of um, Eslex na... In half a mile, keep right. Okay, thank you, Ace. We saw some pictures of Eslex online na that there's heavy traffic now. So, we'll see. And we'll be back. Okay, so kakalampas lang natin ang Susana Heights na exit. Uh, medyo traffic po doon hindi ko nakunan kasi minsan nagagalit po yung mga um, police so um, I didn't take a video because sometimes the policemen at the checkpoint they don't like being uh, filmed so the exit at Susana Heights there's already In a one bill mile. exit right Ayan, medyo traffic na po doon so ngayon we are heading po sa skyway um, nawala na yung traffic but there is again a build up kanina dun sa may Susana Heights exit I think kasi papasok na yan ng Alabang so there you go there's no traffic again but we'll see pag akit natin ng um, Skyway and we'll be back okay we're here na um, sa Skyway as you can see, we just passed by Star Mall, Alabang. And this is the new entry, right? Yeah. So, very, very few cars. Sorry for the shaking, guys. I don't have a gimbal. <laughs> I'm not using a gimbal as of the moment. Yeah, but this is Skyway. Alright, we'll show you more as we exit and we'll be back okay guys so we just exited Hill Puyat from Skyway and as of where we are right now there's no checkpoint going to Makati nothing no traffic and all so it's all good and we will be back again Guys, so nandito kami ngayon sa Petron um, S-Lex Southbound. Um, most of the food uh, food stores dito, yung mga fast food dyan, Burger King, Chow King, Jollibee, puro sila drive-thru. And here naman, open pa din yung mga kiosk. Ayan. So, we are back. Just an hour and a half trip to Makati and back. Mabilisan na errand lang. So, nag-stop lang kami dito sa Eslex Petron Southbound para bumili ng food. But yeah, we are heading back to, Gaita, to Tagaytay in a few. So, we're just gonna eat in the car, syempre, para iwas exposure din. 
but yeah we'll be back and we're gonna show you if ever may mga makita tayong stop um stop life ang tawag dito checkpoint <laughs> going to going back to Tagaytay so we'll be back hi guys so welcome to day 2 today po is Saturday August 7 and as you can see we just passed by Kalax which was um, where we turned yesterday but today weekend ayan we want you to see we are going to Santa Rosa it is kind of a checkpoint but as you can see we just passed through fine um, no issues going to Santa Rosa from Silang or Tagaytay ayan. yeah it looked like they actually were stopping people more rigorously yesterday yesterday um, yeah when when you saw when we tried to zoom in um, before we turned to Kalax ayan. but today they're um, obviously having lunch. Probably. No, it's still 11.30 a.m. Time check. Okay. In any event, guys, <laughs> the good news is we will make it to Amare. And that yes. was our biggest concern. <laughs> Okie dokie. We will be back. Okay, guys. Thanks, as always, for riding with us. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you found it informative. As you can see, overall, we didn't have too many hassles. Um, but as always, guys, stay tuned to our channel. We'll always bring you updates uh, as things develop. And we will catch you in the next video, guys. We appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes as always. And may the force be with you. Mama Pig Productions.